This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the law that endureth forever. All that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yamla, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, recall Kadash, that were honest to the elders and apostles of great millstone, that rule and teach well. Peace, love, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. The Akim that scattered abroad the four corners of the earth, preaching this truth week in and week out, making their bodies a living sacrifice. To the few sisters, the few Akwats that listen and learn, to y'all, I say Shalom. Last but not least, a deep and sincere Shalom to the Akim that scatter in these other nations that look like the other nations, but they forefather go back to Abraham, back to Isaac, and back to Jacob. Shalom, Shalom. Today I'm just going in on how we still have to keep the commandments, man, or remain in the congregation of the dead. Because you got our people running around rapid doing all sorts of abominations because the Christian church tell you you don't have to keep the law but the scriptures say the wages of sin is death so the payment for sin is death the only reason why we die is because we sin man Yahweh Bashem well Yahweh Shah was the perfect example of keeping the law to the fullest and when he come back he's going to be in this glorious body and we will reap the same because the laws the statutes and the commandments will be written in our inward parts man so we can't sin so we can't die but that's a another video well another topic for another video but this is back to baruch chapter 4 and verse 1 this is the book of the commandments of god so this whole book is the commandments of the Mosiah and the law that endure forever. So the law endure forever, man. The law is the commandments that the Mosiah gave to the Israelites to govern our temples, to govern our people, to govern the earth with. They endure forever. It says such as leave it, shall die <laughs> but the ones that keep it shall live man because life is what your whole purpose of being alive is what let me see let me see this is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So we was put here on earth to serve Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and be obedient to his word. Point blank period. That's the whole duty of man. Look, this is the book of Romans. It's a lot here. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law hath dominion over a man for as long as he liveth. So, the law is supposed to rule you for as long as you is alive. Because that's what, that's the standard. You got people that's alive that have no standard, that have no morals, because there's no law. With us Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, 
Native and Seminole Indians, we have moral codes. We have a standard. We have a book of laws that's supposed to in have no million over for as long as we live, man. But you can go to church and let your Christian pastor lie to you and say, you don't have to keep the law. The law's done away with. Jesus nailed the law to the cross. So he died for your sins. But let's see what Jesus said out of his own mouth. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. It's red letters. So this is who the world really calls Jesus Christ talking right here but his real name is Yahweh Shah Mashiach in the Hebrew this is Matthew 5 and 17 think not think not meaning don't think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets I am not come to destroy but to fulfill for verily I say unto you till heaven and earth pass just the point, till heaven and earth pass, we can still look up and see heaven and we still here on earth. So it haven't passed yet. One jot or one tittle showing now wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. So to heaven and earth pass away, the law still stands. Verse 19. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of the least commandments. So if you breaking them and shall teach man so, like your pastor say, the law done away with, that's what he teach you. This law done away with, that law done away with. We don't have to keep the dietary law. And shall teach man so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. So if you teach your people and you not doing, you be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But if you doing the commandments and you teaching to do the commandments, you shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Everybody know this scripture faith without works is dead what's your works keeping the commandments to the best of your ability because you got to be a doer of the word and not just a hearer also because you got people that hear the commandments but they won't do them the commandments stand man Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah say if you love me you would keep the commandments so that was just something quick through the spirit, man. Hopefully, y'all was edified. So with that, I'm going to say shalom and off to the next one.